What is going on guys? Welcome back. I am excited to show you how to set up the paddleboard with all the accessories that we talked about on that last video. If you didn't catch that one, go ahead and check it out. I'll put it right, uh, right here somewhere. It'll be on the screen. So I'll link that one in there. So if you didn't see the, the, the one before this, you'll go watch that. See all the accessories you need. And in this video, we'll go over how to set them all up on the board. Make sure you watch till the end because I've got one extra add in there that I did not put in that last video that you're going to want to add to any paddle board, whether you're out for a leisure paddle every day or you're out there fishing. This is going to extend the life of your paddle board immensely and help it keep looking better at the end of the day. So make sure you watch to the end for that one. So first of all, let's go over how I get this set up to get out in the water, get fishing. So when I show up at the ramp, the rocks, the dock, wherever, I'm going to launch the board. I set up the board the same way every single time I go out. So we can start off with the gear bag that I showed you guys. We got that one here. So take those little Velcro straps. I like to have the gear bag on the front of the board, up by where I'm fishing at most of the time. So you see, I just Velcro that onto this bungee across the board. And I'll stay right there all day with all my gear inside of it. And I'm generally fishing somewhere about right here. So if I ever need a new hook, a weight, I want to grab some scent, whatever it is, the bag is right here, easily accessible, right where I want it to go. If you got the shoes that I wear on the paddle board, these I would be wearing, so they're not going to be on the board somewhere. I just wanted to let you be able to see them again, see the same shoes I wear. So I'm just going to put those up out of the way up here for now. I have my anchor pole all set up. So the way I set this up, as you can see the, the front rubber clip, I had to screw this into the board. Um, not ideal, but it was the best situation I could find. So it's screwed in up there on the rubber clip and it just presses in. And then I take, what I was telling you guys about is that bungee style leash. You wanna make sure you have this bungee leash. So that way, once you put your anchor pole in the water, it gives that little bit of resistance as you dart away versus this hard static one. So what I do on this is I wrap it around the pole, just like you would your ankle, wraps around like that. And then I have like a six inch bungee that I hooked up on the back that I just wrap around the pole a couple of times, hook up onto another bungee. And that holds this in. If I'm going to go for a long paddle, if I'm going to be walking to and from the car with the board, I keep it like this and it holds this, this pole in place very, very well. It's essential. Seems, seems minuscule to nothing, but minuscule to think about this little six inch bungee, but it's saved me a ton of time. Now, one thing to remember is that you've got this big leash hanging off the back of the board. When you're paddling, if you're going to go for a long paddle, You've got this big leash hanging off the board. So what I like to do is I actually bring it up, put it underneath the bungee right here while I'm paddling, and this will keep this from dragging in the water, and it saves you a little bit of effort. Um, you can definitely feel this dragging behind the board when you paddle. It kind of slow you down just a little bit. So just a little tip to add when you get out of the water. Put this under there. When you go to pull the pole out and put it in the ground, this just pops right out, and it goes right in. It's not an issue. Next, with my rod, I will use the two bungees. So I've got the bungees on the nose, so I kind of take the rod and slide underneath one up front. And I like to take the front or second bungee right here, slide over the butt of the rod, and my rod will stay right there. And it stays completely out of the way. This is, my ideal situation is having the rod over as far to the side as possible because then there's no chance that you're gonna step on it break it. You don't want to do that. Um, the only time I put a rod down the center is if I, maybe if I'm retying, but realistically I almost never put one there. I always have the rod on the side. If I have two rods, I actually keep both rods on the side. You know, one, I always keep them with the handle pointing out so that way there's no chance for me to step on that as well. Then you got the little dry bag. It's right with my keys, my cell phone. I'll stick both of those right in here. You just go ahead and roll it up nice and easily. And then I strap this guy somewhere to the back, probably the back corner over here, it's out of the way. And I never have to deal with it until I'm out of the water. So it's way, way back here. 
you're never going to be standing all the way on the back of the board. The general range of motion is going to be somewhere between here. So that's about where you want to keep all your clear space. And then next we have the paddle. When, when I'm going from the car to the water, what I'll do is just slide the paddle underneath the back bungee. And it kind of sits like this. And when I go to grab the board, I grab it from here and I lift this side up. So then this paddle stays underneath my arm. If I'm fishing a spot, I actually keep the paddle in the same spot as it is now. And that is the one thing that I put between my, that I'll stand on the outside and I'll have the paddle like this. Or sometimes I just let it drag on the side. It's not a big issue. The paddle floats and it's plunging in place right here so it's not too much of an issue. So that is how you hook up all the gear on the board. This is the super light way. This is my, the best way I've found to set up paddle board to get out there and go fishing. If you have any questions on this, Make sure you leave a comment in the bottom, and I'd be happy to answer anything you've got. Any other ideas, maybe there's maybe a product that you know about. Um, the one thing I didn't showcase is... So that one thing that I didn't showcase, as I said, in the accessories video, and I'm going to show now, is actually called Clear Bra. So it's used on vehicles a lot of the times on the front to keep um, bugs and rocks and stuff. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but I've got it. You can maybe see the edge of it, but otherwise it's doing its job being extremely clear. I don't know, can you see the edge right there? That's clear bra, and what that is, it's made by 3M, and I keep this all along the rail. It comes all the way down to here. I keep this on the side of the board, so that way as I paddle, if my paddle ever hits the side of the board, it doesn't ding it. It doesn't ding my board, doesn't ding my paddle and it doesn't leave any scratch marks. So what it, it really, really, really protects the board. Now I've also got a really ugly version up on the nose and that's because it's gotten uh, beat up a little bit, but you can see I've got it all the way here as well. And so that's if I ever hit a dock or a rock or something coming in and out of the water, the board is super, super protected. It's really, really cheap for a roll of this stuff. It goes on extremely easy and it's gonna just make your board last so much longer. So, if you have a board and you're going to be out there fishing and you're going to be launching off the rocks or anywhere there's kind of hazard, if you're walking down a small trail with lots of branches and sticks and stuff, you need this product. If you're out just on a daily paddle and you have a fiberglass board, you're going to want this product as well because it's going to save your board in the long run. So, I hope you guys liked watching this. I hope it was really informative for you. Stick around and make sure you hit that subscribe button because this summer we've got some awesome fishing trips coming up on the paddleboard. I'm super stoked to share them with you guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.